What's up, cast and crew? How y'all doing today? It's your boy TRK Gaming and Rail Productions back again with another Jurassic World the game video. It's been a a little little minute since we've done the last one. There hasn't really been anything um noteworthy that I thought I could do with the game at the moment. Um but there is a tournament coming up. Hopefully I can get a full tournament video out um for spino gen 2 and that's in three days it's gonna be on friday so the hope is that i can um film that for you guys um including a uh, a surprise depending on when this video comes out um should be announced on tuesday um but today we can do a couple things in the park not so much stuff with um battling um as you guys can see i've done some spending with my D dna since the last time uh you guys have seen my game we are now unfortunately sitting at 4103 dna um so we got some stuff we can look at today because of that first i got copy back like with with some miracle luck I got Compy back. So we're just gonna watch the animation because I don't think that's Jesus. That is just evil. That was probably imported from Jurassic World Live. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. Um so we got Compy. Um, we got the R, this guy, we got him, so we're working towards the, um, the hybrid to, uh, get that. Um, what do we have in here? What can I put in here that I haven't, uh, oh, I forgot I got that Verandestega from, uh, a calendar i think i got that from the calendar um it's looking as if the jurassic is about to hit a limbo i could hatch diplogen to her uh renchinia renchinia um but you know what i think i'm gonna hatch an aquatic we're gonna hatch yeah we're gonna hatch play yeah Platyceriptus, we'll put that in. Um, now for like the big thing, and I guess what I'm focusing on in this video, we can get a level 30 Lothorn right now. I unfortunately didn't. I didn't think about it at the time, but um, level th oh wait, no, that's not. That's not. Really, I've been at that. I got a level 30 Zalmonodon, just off the rip, didn't think to do a video on it or anything. Um, so this time, I'm gonna do it on screen, because the um, Glothornix tournament, I didn't participate in, so I could get a level 30 Glothornix. I did the same thing with Chroma Spinus. I had unlocked it in a tournament. And then I played a, I played the second tournament when it came around again um, to get it level 20 because Chroma Spinus is, I think, the most expensive carnivore in the game. It is sitting at 82,880 DNA. Yeah, um, that was gonna take a lot of spending. I actually could have gotten another one because I ended up getting up to 90 thousand dna at one point um but i think i ended up spending that on no that was spent on the zalmonodon because there was a sale going on in the uh dna store so i used that dna to get a level 30 zalmonodon okay so right here we can say goodbye goodbye to our level 20. Actually, wait, let me look at this thing. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. 
getting this to level 30 because I just remembered that when I do use Glothornix, like when I use level 20 Glothornix in the tournaments, it was absolute god. These code 19s, man. Always when I just can't do a video. Wait. Okay, so level 21, it has 4,280 health and 1,330 health. That's at level 21. And we feed it to level 20. It now has 5,298 health and 1,656 attack. Now it's tournament ready. Uh, <coughs> ready. Ready. What? What does that mean? Um, yeah, now it's tournament ready. So, we're gonna use it. I don't know how long it's... Do I have my instant recoveries? No, but I'm gonna use it just because, and then I'll just buy it back uh, come the tournament if it's too many days. But depending on where it sits, it might actually just come back before the tournament. Um, as you guys can see, I had to go crazy for like the last few hours of the tournament. So my Udon has yet to come back and my, uh, my Indoraptors as well. And oh, it sits right there? It sits comfortably in between Alanogamous and um, Chromus Minus. Now, I kind of expected that because in terms of stats, Alanogamous and Glothornix are actually really close in stats. But because Alanogamous has more attack, and I think it's cheaper too, it's like that. It, it should be cheaper. If I'm not wrong, it should be the cheaper hybrid. Yeah, 60,000 and Alanogamous is, yeah, 45,000. So they're really close in stats, but Glothornix just has more health. So, yeah, you, you're better off just going for Glothornix. And in the end, if you do have, like, Dilophosaur Gen 2, Tyrannolophosaur is really the better version of all three of them. So you really want to go for Tyrannolophosaur. If you, wait, where's the, here we go. So, we're just gonna throw it in here and do this event real quick, cause, why not? Let's get it. So, I haven't, I actually haven't done one of these in a long while. Cause they just haven't been showing up. But, and like, this is how I used to, like, when I would get the turn of I only did it for like one thing. I used this event to showcase Scorpius Rex. But the event hadn't come back around, like, at all. So I couldn't really do it. So this is technically the second showcase video. Um, second showcase, not really. We're just looking at uh, Glothornix and all of its 1130 glory. I actually don't know what to do it. It, it has more health than um, Alanon. So I expected, in all intents and purposes, to last longer. Even though it has less attack, it would still do good. Um, but um, I'm just gonna take a second and um, tell y'all the uh, the good news. Um, big project is done. The big project. Um, uh -oh. There's no telling when it'll be ready to release because I'm running it through, um, you know, the test phase, like test audience phase, you know, like how the movies do the big guys. Um, make you know, make sure everything is good because this is a series that I wanted to start when I was a little kid and now. Like, I'm in the position that I'm in now, I can do it. And, oh, he had two blocks. Um, yeah, anyways, it's, um, yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait for you guys to see. Um, 
it, it's it's taking me not too long. Actually. It didn't take me that long. It was very straightforward. I knew what I wanted. There was a point where I thought I couldn't get that in. Like get some of the some of the shots I wanted in because of some bad thing with my computer and I just had to wait to make sure I had uh, active readings on it. Um but yeah, that is um it's done. It's done and I don't know when it's gonna come out. But um I expect it to come out within the next month, it probably actually might be the send off I have going back to uh, well having less time to do video um because it's and keep in mind um it's my senior year and I'm doing online school but um I have a lot more to do um in the coming up year than a typical senior would which um it, it kind of sucks. Not kind of, it does suck. But, um... Hey, business is business. Uh, right? So, I gotta handle that. And... With that, um... It should be... The end of, like, you know, the complicated stuff. I can... Um, get to the stuff that I really want to get to in life, which is continuing to do YouTube and looking for the classroom railroad. Hopefully, I can get that in my, you know, in my books as well. If I really wanted to do that. So, ooh, do we do another event so I can get the uh, uh, a, a solid gold? I say we run, we go for the solid gold. Can do this, but first let's see how. Oh, a day and nine hours. Oh, please. See, it'll be back before um the time. It'll be fine. Um, so we can just throw in something. Uh, Prosaurus. Oh, we need three. Okay. So. And then we need four battles, huh? Well, this is gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, so that's where I sit right now with everything, and I uh, I thank you guys for your support as well. Um, speaking of support. As of the mo uh, time I'm filming this video, um, this is gonna show that I'm like, I'm on the grind for real. Um, 40 minutes ago, I uploaded a, uh, a Raptors Rail Review. Now, Raptors Rail Review is like, slow down a lot. And for those of you that don't know, Raptors Rail Review is a series of videos that I've done and I'm continuing to do where I review third-party assets for, um, trains simulator, train railroad simulator. And... It's, um, it does relatively... Standpoint, but that's the thing with a lot of, like, review videos. It's, there a lot of those review videos are really straightforward. It's like, you're reviewing a product, you know, you just go the in and out, and, you know, give your opinion on, say, like, a movie, or, like, an action figure, or a, a third-party asset for a game, which is something that a lot of, um, train YouTubers do. Whether they stick with it, or they stop doing it after a while, or if it, that's the only thing they do, I'm not gonna say, well, it's, I don't wanna say it's like, uh, got a cash grab. but, um, 
some people are genuine with it and i feel like i hope i'm being genuine with it because i do enjoy like reviewing um products for the game especially because a lot of the content creators do a really good job like the team at joining rail um, adamovic of r mod or steve Lero of knl train or the guy that trains forge like i like i enjoy giving credit to those who did a good work job and they delivered um and that's why i that's another reason why i wanted to do that um like even though my videos probably don't do the model justice of how good a lot of these things are um they're still like they're, they're like they're really good and, like, people that play trains railroad simulator um like i want them to see these videos and like make them think they're funny like these some of these models and i want them to get them for themselves at the respective websites and really Well, I shouldn't be too bothered. I do have to worry. I do have to worry a lot. I forgot that they do that. They randomize that. Oh my god, that sucks. I can still, like, do the same. Oh, no. It's just, um... Now, well, if he goes for full out attack, he means, uh, it's game over. Yeah, it's, it's game. It's game. I think you know that. Well, I'm not sure if I give an indoor round again. I'm sure they do. One, two, three. Yeah, see, I have nothing to worry about. We're gone. We're good. I don't know why I was tripping. I was tripping for nothing. Look, yeah, it's good, man. Alright, so let's get our pack and let's see what we get from uh, the solid gold if we get it. Did we get enough VIP? No, we don't even get the um, the amount needed. But what I can do, can I do, I can do trades. Uh oh, is that going to be enough? Yeah, yeah, it'll be enough. Yeah, that's definitely enough. That's over the amount that we need. Right there. Let's see. To round off the video, let's see what we get in the solid gold. I can give me bucks now. No. And but we get another notice. That means I'm one closer to um a baryonyx would have been nice though. Um because I think I'm getting I have it level 30, so all I need are four more. And uh I max very honest. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our look at Glothornix level 30, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the news that I had to share with you guys today in this episode. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy anything dinosaurs, trains, and kaiju, which is on a news on a low right now, but I hope. Hopefully, I can bring that back at some point. Um, once again, I hope I thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you all for the support that you've given me over the past. Is it five years now? I think I I I think it's five years. The channel's five years old. It's uh, uh officially five years old. But um, that's gonna have to wrap up the video. So again, thank you guys for watching. This has been your boy DRK Gaming and Rail Productions. And I'll see you guys at the next station. Peace out.